Uh, welcome back to Drew Motion Art, and I'm going to show you guys another tutorial on how to make this cool little fuse effect. You can attach this to a bomb, anything like that. Right now, I'm just going to show you the way that this fuse is built and the way it follows the fuse all the way down um, with the sparks. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've got my um, composition here. I'm going to open up 1920 by 1080. I'm going to go ahead and set the duration to 10 seconds. doesn't really matter too much. We can always extend that. I'm going to call it Fuse. And then we're going to put a new solid in. Um, you can use this color if you'd like. Here's the hex value. Uh, let's get a little bit lighter blue. Um, there you go. That'll work for me. Go ahead and lock that. I like to shy these so that we, they don't get in the way later when we're trying to grab any other files. So next thing we're going to do is make a new shape layer. I'm going to go ahead and make the stroke about 16 and we're just going to kind of start drawing some paths here. You can kind of use your control points to make it smooth and I'll of course I'll always want to go back uh, use my direct select tool kind of clean these up a little bit and this is going to be the fuse so we don't want any notches in it anything like that we want it to be smooth curves uh, these uh, vector type paths are a little bit tricky to do in After Effects but that's okay we'll get through it That'll probably work. Let's go ahead and bump up this uh, pixel width to about 30. And you know what, let's go ahead and make this a little bit lighter too because this will be the base of our fuse. So we've got that. So now what I want to do, and we want to do this first because um, we don't want to have to redo any of this timing later, is what we're going to do is we're going to twirl down the drop down here and go to Trim Paths. Okay, I'm going to move this ahead a couple of frames. I'm going to put the start at zero. I'm going to put a t click our stopwatch there. I'm going to move this way out to about four seconds. And then we're going to move this all the way to uh, just until it gets off the screen. You can do go all the way to 100 if you want. The important part is it's just going all the way off the stage here kind of see how that builds out nice and smooth and let's go ahead and put some easing on those as well I'm gonna go ahead and put this playback uh, render at half so it goes a little bit faster from here on out so now what I'm gonna do is I've got my pins in here I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that path. You can do that by Command-D. I'm going to change this to a slightly darker gray. It doesn't really matter which, just make sure it's slightly darker. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in V-E-N-E, -E, or you can type in the whole thing. You want to get Venetian blinds. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that onto that top layer. And then I want to start dragging this transition completion up. So uh, about 68% will do the trick there. I also want to change the direction a little bit so we kind of get some of this threaded look. You can, you can do whatever angle you'd like. I kind of want to have it sort of angled like this. I know it gets a little tighter on some of these um, bends in our fuse, but that's okay. All right, so because we already set up those trim paths, we don't have to do those again. It's going to just go right in line with the layer below. And that looks good. So now it's time to make the fire or the spark that's going to follow the fuse down to the bomb or the dynamite or whatever you want to call it. It's off screen right now, so it doesn't really matter too much. So what I want to do is I want to change the fill here to a nice uh, maybe a rusty orange and then I am going to you know what I'm gonna make that a little bit darker there we go so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the ellipse tool draw out a circle 
If you can make it a perfect circle, all the better. And then I'm going to add wiggle paths to this shape. So let's zoom in so you can see these a little bit better. So what you want to do is you want to crank the size up significantly. It doesn't have to be exactly there, but at least over 100. And then you want the detail all the way up to 100. So that's going to give us this kind of spark look. And as you can see, it will kind of move and wiggle as it goes down the timeline. Now we want the wiggle wiggles per second to be a little bit faster. As you can see that. Now we've got kind of a nice little sparkler effect. I think I'm going to take the size down just a touch. So it's got a little bit bigger core. So there you go. That works nicely. And then what I think I'm going to do here is I want somewhat of an inner glow to make it look a little bit more like fire. So I'm going to duplicate that layer. Again, that's Command-D. We're going to change the color of this one. We'll move it all the way to white. And then we're going to change the blend mode on this. Let's move it down a little bit first. Okay, that's good. Perfect. So let's go ahead and change the blend mode of this to overlay. That'll kind of give us that shiny sparkler effect with us with the uh, brighter core and let that play through for a second and see how it works looks good so I'm gonna go ahead and pre-comp these together you wanna make sure that you've got it pinned where it says move all attributes into a new composition I'm gonna call this sparks underscore comp and this is the important part you want to make sure you use your pan behind tool move your anchor point directly to the center of this. If you don't move it directly to the center, it's not going to work properly. Because what we're going to do next is I'm actually going to twirl down my fuse base, I'm going to twirl down the shape and the path, and then I'm going to Command C and copy the path. So all those points we made earlier when we were creating that fuse shape are going to be copied. And then I want to go ahead and twirl down the position and I'm going to just paste those in. So now you can see that fuse is going to follow the path all the way down. The problem is, is we've got a little bit of a timing issue. So you're going to have to bear with me here. This is going to go a little bit faster, but what we have to do is we have to start moving these little points along this path so they match up with the speed at which the fuse is disappearing off the screen. So, whoa, got a little crazy there. So this part is going to take a, a few minutes to get right. We'll go ahead and fast forward. And here we are. We're at the end now of where this needs to be. And there we go. It's completely going off the screen. And let's play that back and see how it looks. That looks nice. And now we've got a fuse, be it attached to a bomb, dynamite, what, what have you, but you've got a fuse that you've made completely in After Effects. You've got a spark or fire that's, that's igniting it that we've made completely in After Effects. And down the line it goes. So I thank you very much for watching. And if you like more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you.